All right, now we have our rail assembly set aside, and we're going to do the sliding lid assembly in this step. Uh, so we'll need this part. This is what we call the sliding lid, and it comes from your transparent pool of parts. And it slides like this to cover the food. This being the food covers the food or allows the food. So there's a couple other parts that go to this. These two small parts are called coin fences. They also come from your clear collection of parts, your transparent ones. From your light collection of parts, you have the two smallest parts in the kit. So make sure you don't overlook these or throw them away. These are the coin pushers. Uh, and these actually uh, allow the lid to push a coin out each time it opens and closes so that the machine during training phase um, three can offer its own coins. All these parts need to be peeled, so let's get to peeling. Alright, now with everything peeled, we're going to cement these parts into place. Um, the only uh, tool we need for this step is our cement. I'm going to put my little cardboard on a clean side here. Uh, I'm going to make some marks here with a sharpie uh, on this part just to show where the cement goes. Um, this is just to illustrate to you. I don't recommend that you mark your own. But we're going to put cement here. And we're going to put cement here. And we're going to put cement here and here. Okay, we're going to do the coin pushers first, these little teeny guys here. And uh, I'm going to put something down to protect my mat from glue. Cement, rather. There. Alright, so first of all, we'll do the coin pushers. Uh, now let's talk about how those go in before we actually put them in. Um, you can see that they have sort of a triangular shape, or almost like a, I don't know, hammer shape. But you want the uh, flat sides of these down and the tapered sides away. Uh, these actually won't go in wrong, uh, as you can see, because the tabs are cut. Um, so that they will only actually go in properly in seat. So just uh, make sure you have them like I have them here. If you need to see that a little closer, you can here. So here we go, just a little bead here, and my cement nozzle is clogged again. Alright, finally, a drop and a drop. That's all you need for this. Take your coin pusher, flat side forward, lower it down to that pool of glue, cement, tap it, do the same with the other, tap it. Some cement will squish out, that doesn't matter. Just push these towards the slot uh, while you're still floating on liquid cement. And for the last part, I'm going to put in a coin fence. So just to show, I'm going to put a bead along there. drop a fence in. These are symmetrical so it doesn't matter which way you put them. Just tap that into there. Cement here. Just as planned. Push that coin fence in. And this is one that kind of wants to be have the cement spudged around a little bit. Keep in mind that uh, the cement is going to somewhat scar the plastic but it's not a big deal. Um, these fences just uh, protect from having a training coin go back up the lid and into the machine. That's what these fences do. So it's not something I can illustrate without the coins or the, the rest of the machine. That's worth mentioning. And that's it for this step. We'll set this aside, let the cement cure.